There are many different types of energy. Do your students have trouble identifying the correct type of energy that must be present to perform a task? Welcome to Split Second Science. Today, we'll explore mechanical energy. In connection with TEKS SCI 5.6a, explore the uses of energy. And we'll implement HISD's Elementary Science Best 3 Practices, 3D to 2D Transfer and Realia. 3D to 2D Transfer enables students to take what they've learned in a concrete, hands-on lesson and transfer that knowledge onto paper or into a journal. Realia allows a teacher to use concrete, everyday objects to convey meaning to help students master a concept. Mechanical energy is the energy that is possessed by an object due to its motion or due to its position. A moving car possesses mechanical energy due to its motion. An object that possesses mechanical energy is able to do work. During this investigation, teachers will facilitate learning experiences to build conceptual understanding, provide multiple opportunities for conceptual understanding to be transferred from concrete to abstract, assess students' 2D understanding at multiple points throughout the lesson, and ensure mastery of core academic content through application in novel and meaningful contexts. Students will transfer conceptual understanding from hands-on to paper and pencil assignments, including interactive notebooks, formative assessments, probes, etc., and reflect on their own 2D understanding throughout the lesson. During the investigation, students will be directed to answer these guiding questions. What are some ways we observe mechanical energy in everyday life? And what are some objects that require mechanical energy in order to perform their main function? For our investigation, students will need the following materials. Hammer, thermometer, iron, fan. Students will be asked to determine which object requires only mechanical energy to perform its main function. Now let's watch as we discover just what objects utilize mechanical energy. Test the fan to determine if it only uses mechanical energy to perform its main function. Test the iron to determine if it only uses mechanical energy to perform its main function. Test the thermometer to determine if it only uses mechanical energy to perform its main function. And finally, test the hammer to determine if it only uses mechanical energy to perform its main function. Teachers need to make sure that students draw conclusions based on their findings and enter those in their interactive notebooks. This is a great way for teachers to evaluate students' understanding and provide authentic feedback. Here's a quick recap of what we just covered. We explored mechanical energy, we learned that both 3D to 2D transfer and realia support a deeper understanding of the science content while also enhancing academic vocabulary. We demonstrated how to determine if an object utilizes mechanical energy. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other segments of Split Second Science.